Okay, we got a no crank, no start. So go ahead and hit the button and you can hear what it does. Do it again. So it just clicks. All right, so what's the first thing we're gonna do, Gavin? We're gonna start at the battery and then work our way from there. Okay, so we're gonna start at the battery. We're gonna check it post to post. You're not checking the connections, you're checking the posts. And what are we gonna do to check it to be accurate? We're gonna load it. So we're gonna load it. So I'm gonna push the button and see that the voltage says 12.16. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible. Okay, now what are we gonna do? We're gonna start with the positive wire going to the starter. So don't you want to do available at the load that's not working? Yes. So let's check the available voltage at the load that's not currently working. So he's on the negative. He's got his leads crossed, but it's not a big deal. It just shows a minus in front of the, the voltage on the meter. But he's, got on, he's on the negative and he's on the positive stud. We're not on the lug, we're on the stud because we want to see the available right at the starter. So we're going to push the button. Right now we have 12.3, it looks good but we're gonna load the circuit by pushing the button and try to start it. Try to start it, our voltage goes to 0 0.1, so clearly we don't have what we need at the starter. All right, Gavin, what are you gonna do next? Now we're gonna start with one of the lines going to the battery. So, so you're gonna voltage drop what? The positive the here to the positive on the starter. Notice he's on the stud here and he's on the post here. That way we check the, the resistance across all the connections all at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna activate the circuit and I'm gonna see zero volts. So I have no loss in the positive cable, zero loss or 0 0.01 loss. That's irrelevant. Okay, so what are we gonna do next, Gavin? Now we're gonna switch them and go to the negative post to the positive side of the starter. Negative post, up the negative cable to the negative stud on the starter, and we're gonna activate the circuit. And now we're showing an 11.96 volt drop across that circuit, which tells me that we're losing 11.9 volts. So that's no longer available to the starter. So now what are we gonna do? We're gonna work our way towards the connection point. Okay, so we're gonna go from there. Go from here to here. Okay, so you're just moving closer and and we still have, push on your cable a little, or your connector, there you go. There you go. Now we have, still have an open and he's here. So now he's gonna get a little bit closer to the battery cable. So he's gonna go over to the lug. So go right on the lug there. Go, yeah, right there. Okay, so I'm still holding the circuit active. I'm trying to start the vehicle. And notice he no longer has a voltage drop. So he moved it one step and jumped over the bad connection. So now move back one step. So right there, push better, better connection. Jam it in there a little bit. There you go, he's still got a voltage drop. So the bad connection is right between the cable the lug on the cable and the starter stud. We just need to fix that connection. Now, bring this, bring this guy all the way up to the lug and put your red one on the stud how you had it before. So now you're doing a voltage drop just across the connection and notice I have my full voltage drop. So that proves that my problem lies right there. As soon as I fix that, it's gone. Good job, thanks.